everyone, this is Tony from Her Homestead Skills and today I've got a few things in mind but first of all I'm going to can up some cranberries. I did buy them and uh, this morning I went out and picked up another bag because I'd used half of them for my uh, muffins and so I've got three and a half bags and I also picked up some orange juice and that's what I'm going to do a little bit differently. The recipe calls for uh, certain quantities of cranberries, water, and sugar. And I'm going to substitute the orange juice completely for the water, so I'm not going to put any water in at all. Some people would do half and half, or a, co a combination of, I don't know. But this is my first time that I'm going to totally substitute orange juice. Let's see how it works out. And after it's made, I am going to can it. Okay, so the first thing you do, obviously, is wash the cranberries, and I've got most of them washed here. And I'm just, well, except for the one bag I have left to wash. So they're going into the pot. Okay, so I've got most of my cranberries in the pot. Now, measurements uh, used to be a little easier. Uh, the bag used to be a little bit bigger, so yeah. Anyway, the, you do have the recipe right on the bag, so you don't even have to worry about it, except <laughs> this one is, oh, partially in metric and partially in the older systems, which, of course, made me laugh. Okay, so basically, this particular recipe calls for one bag, one cup of sugar, uh, brown, I've always used white, and 200 milliliters of water, and three tablespoons of lemon juice if you want, but I'm going to be adding orange juice, and I'm not going to be adding any water, so I won't be adding the lemon juice. Now, I had to figure out what 200 ml of water was for three and a half bags, and I had come up with the closest measurement I could come up with was about three cups. So I've got my three cups of orange juice going in, and I have to wash one more bag and then add my sugar. Okay, and I've got my last bag of berries all washed, ready to go in. And yes, I have to use a hot pot for a reason because it will all, we, we've got a lot of berries in there, I'll show you that in a minute. So I've got all my sugar measured out. Rather than doing it one bit at a time, I just put it in a bowl, and now I'm putting the whole amount in there to boil. Okay, so at this point, all we do is allow the berries and the juice and everything to cook down until the berries burst. And that's how simple it is. You just cook it down. And these have more than enough pectin, pectin in them so that when you can it up, it'll firm up on its own. So there we go. All the sugar is getting dissolved. And I like the idea of just doing it in straight orange juice. We'll see how that tastes. Okay. And now because we have Oh, at least three and a half bags in here, maybe a little bit more than that, three and three quarter bags. This is going to take a while to come up to temperature. Normally one bag, you'd probably have it boiled in about five minutes, but at this point we just want to uh, let this come up to temperature and boil for a few minutes. Okay, well here we are. My uh, cranberries are nicely cooked down. I added a bit more sugar because of the tartness of the orange juice as well. So I'm going to taste this again. Yes, a little bit of extra sugar helps. And yes, I can definitely taste the orange as well. Well, okay, now I'm going to can this up in jars and then I'm going to preserve it and I think I've got more than adequate berries to last me a while here but if I don't there'll be more available at the Christmas season. 
Okay, same old process here. I have got a dozen half pint jars because that's the way I like to can these. I like to can them in jam jars because I don't like a lot of um, half jars left in the fridge for any period of time. So what I like to do is uh, do it in a small enough container that I'm gonna hopefully use up most of that container in one shot rather than have it sit in the fridge. So opening up a fresh one when I need it. Okay, so I don't know how many this will make. Should be a reasonable amount. And I've got 12 jars here. And this does firm up nicely on its own. And that's how easy it is to make your own cranberry sauce. I have no understanding of why anyone would buy any ready-made unless you can't get the berries. I don't think I've ever purchased cranberry sauce in a can. Mind you, I've never eaten cranberry sauce until I met Mark. <laughs> Just wasn't part of the diet from where I come from. Okay. Just going to do a minor adjustment here. This one's just a tiny bit full, and I just try to even them off. Okay, looks good to me. Now I'm gonna get some. Oh, that is tasty. I'm gonna get some canning lids, some vinegar. I'm gonna wash this pot. And I'm going to, I don't think I could fit those all in this pot, so I'm going to get my canner out. I'm only going to be water bath canning these, but I will probably need the big canner in order to fit all these jars in all at once. Okay, same process as usual. I have my vinegar here to clean the edges, and then I put the vinegar water into my canner, which I've already got on the stove. And <clears throat> this is going to be water bath canned, so the water has to cover the jars at least an inch to two inches over the top of the jars. Okay, I've got my lids just soaking in warm water. So, and I've got my rings ready. Now, these are sticky, so you do want to make sure, and they are hot, you want to make sure you clean the edges off really good. I'm going to do a couple at a time and just put the lids and rings on. Now, lids and rings, finger tight. And I'm going to wait till that water comes up to temperature because these are very hot. So let's continue here. Messier with some than with others. But I can see immediately which ones are the problem and need to be cleaned good. Okay, let's do these four as well. Thank you. 
And yes, I've reused my rings over and over and over again until they are ugly enough to trash. And I have brand new ones stashed away that have never been used. And I prefer it that way. So if I ever have to give one of these as a gift to somebody, I'll put a brand new ring on rather than one of my old ones. And I think this water is coming to temperature so they can go in immediately at this point. And I should be able to fit all of these in my... I'm using my pressure canner, doubling it as a water bath canner. I'm just not going to add any pressure. I'm not going to... I may add the lid, but I will not torque it down just to keep it... Uh, keep it warm. And if you let this sit too long, the berries start to dry on the edge here. And you have to make sure you clean them off real good. Now these haven't been sitting that long, but... comes to a boil and not before then we set the timer for 10 minutes for my altitude and perhaps a little bit uh, longer if you're um, at a different altitude so this is awesome and it's very tasty and yes you you can modify this you can put other spices in it I don't bother I just like the sugar and the orange um, you can also put it in larger jars and you can also put it in smaller jars so that really is up to you. I prefer these jam jars, uh, as I say, because we can probably use up mostly a whole one every time we open one up. So uh, this is good for now. As I said, I may make more at Christmas, but for the time being, I'm satisfied with this quantity. So once these come to a boil, I process it for 10 minutes. Then I pull them out and leave them sit for 24 hours before I take the, the rings off and wash the jars.